everyone, this is my 2006 Dodge Sprinter with 140,000 miles for sale in Atlanta, Georgia that I lived out of for half a year. Built myself. Let's go check it out. We've got reclaimed Douglas fir from the Pacific Northwest, probably all the way back to Atlanta here. We've got two inch foam insulation all the way around, keeping this thing, this baby warm and you toasty in the coldest of Canadian winters, I know. We've got a max air fan to keep you ventilated. We've got fruit storage. We've got a 20 pound propane tank storage right here. Boom, that's enough gas for a couple months. We have the Camp Chef, two burner stove, with oven, big enough for a 9 by 13 pan. That's big enough for a chicken, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Trash. Shower. Toilet. This is a portable toilet. You just take off the top, made by Dometic, completely sealed system. Take a piss, you go. Flush. Close. Dump in regular toilet when you're done. Easy. We've got loads of storage. Boom! Look at that. More than enough for two people and all your gear. Shoes. We've got a smoke protector, ladies and gentlemen in case you leave this bad boy on and you go to sleep. Don't do that. We've got a sink. A little bit of counter space here. We've got an in-counter soap dispenser for washing your hands. Mine are dirty. There you go. 30 gallon water tank lasts anywhere from a week minimum to a couple weeks depending on you and how many people you got. We've got a 65 liter Dometic fridge. This baby will retail you for a thousand bucks. Super heavy duty drawer system. Freezer, fridge. Boom, you're ready to go. Enough food for probably a week of two people eating. We've got lots of storage for pots and pans. Deep. There you go. Extra deep storage for drawers. Not for drawers, for things you put in drawers. There you go. Cutlery. Locks to keep everything situated. Extra storage. Super deep. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. We've got 12 by 12 upper storage shelf with a three inch lip to keep everything from falling out. We've got whitewashed cedar planked ceiling underneath two inches of foam insulation. We basically got R10 to R15 insulation all the way around. Sink is retractable. We've got surround sound speakers, six inch all the way around. We've got the Webasto heater. Set it and forget it. Keep this thing at 70 degrees when you go shred the dar and you come back in here and nice and toasty. We've got a fold out bed which does lift up if you need to, but you shouldn't. That's only for if you need to get to maintenance, you need to get to the batteries, you need to get to the fuse boxes in case any of this goes off. It's a full size bed. You retract this this way, this this way, it comes out to here. Two bed pieces, you got your bedding underneath. This is actually supposed to be right there. Much bigger than it was previously. We've got really great under bed storage. A huge amount. This is great for me when I was going up skiing, keeping my bedding, keeping my tools, and all of my gear down here. And in here, we've got our shore power and 1000 watt inverter and solar charge controller. And over here, underneath the sink, you have drawers that come out this way to give you access to fill the water from any hose. Or if you have a five gallon water jug like I take around with me, fill that up, bring it back in here a few times and you're good to go. The seat right here swivels around. 
and I know you've seen enough van tours, you don't need to see it, but we've got a modular table system. It goes right here, clamps in really quickly, and I've got this uh, tabletop that I enjoy. That's enough for at least two people there and yourself right here eating dinner, or if you're working on your laptop remotely like I do, it's a perfect situation for that. And we have curtains for all the windows that are blackout curtains, unless you're uh, sleeping in after the sun comes up. We also have blackout cabin curtains, which this is also really important to block out the cold in the front or the heat, depending on the time of year. And you've got overhead max air fan that will run indefinitely with lights on, the fan, heating, and water pump. The electrical system is with 500 watts of solar on top and 400 amp hours of sealed glass mat batteries underneath the bed. And we have a custom made center console to give you extra storage while driving or while just up there. I keep all my electronics up here and I've got an upgraded sound system with phone holder. And we've got switches to keep the sound system on for when we're parked and now it runs off of the solar batteries. We've got a switch to connect the solar batteries to the car battery in case you need to charge in either direction. A lot of times my car battery might be dead from being in the Canadian winters and you just pop the switch, charge that thing up from solar and you're good to go. As far as connectivity, you've got a Bluetooth lighting system that you can change to any color up here. And you also have a Bluetooth controlled refrigerator that I showed you earlier and Bluetooth controlled sound system as well. And you have a huge custom overhead storage up here. And you also have the light switch, of course, for the lighting up there. And I think that's pretty much it, folks. That's it. Yeah.